It's time I commit modded SMP sin number one. Before we dive into the video, I want to let you all know that I have new merch. The Chromia Color Block hoodie is available for a few weeks on pre-order in a bunch of different sizes and free shipping worldwide. I am over the moon with how this hoodie came out. It is super comfortable, super high quality, and super, super cute. So if you're interested in getting your own hoodie, make sure to click the link in the description, head over to the website, and buy it while you can. Now with that out of the way, let's get into the video. Hi guys, and welcome back to the next episode of A New Life SMP. So today, we gon' cook. I'm gonna be the best chef you ever done did see, because I am always hungry. So, because of my origin being the transporter, I have atomic exhaustion, which basically using portals will exhaust you very quickly, which basically means I get hungry and need food and tummy, thank you. So like, look, you can see my little hunger bar now, and if I just do one teleport, I'm down a notch. And then if I wait till I can do it again and do another one, down another two. And I've been living off of cabbage rolls because they are super easy for me to make. I have this farm over here where I just grab a stack of cabbages, stack of carrots and pop them in a pot. But I'm done with the boring life. I want to make fancy things. I want to make fulfilling things. And that's what we're going to do. So in this little area, we have our Farmer's Delight kitchen. And if I search in here, we have our Farmer's Delight items. Now there are a lot of really fancy things like a bowl of stuffed pumpkin, honey glazed hams, a rice roll medley. But most of those things will not stack. And that means that it's really difficult for me to carry around and use as food. So I'm going to be looking more towards these things here. Things like stuffed potatoes, dumplings, mutton wraps, bacon sandwiches, hamburgers, and seeing what I can make. And I want to start with a hamburger. So a hamburger, I basically need tomatoes, onions, cabbage, bread, and beef patties. And to make a beef patty, I just need to grab some raw beef, grab my little knife, and then I just have to keep doing this. I basically want to make a stack, is what I've decided. I would like to make a stack of burgers. Okay, there we go. And I have a stack, and I can just pop these into the frying pan, and they'll just cook. They'll pop off every so often. So while they do that, I can work on the next thing. Which means I'm going to need a stack of bread, which I definitely have the ability to do. Because I'm pretty sure I have more wheat here. I do. I only need three more. One, two, three. There we go. Stack of bread. Done. So now I need a stack of cabbage. And rather than using an entire cabbage, what I can also do, come over to my chopping board and turn this into cabbage leaves. And I'm a little bit low on cabbage. I only need like one more. So I'll just pop into the garden, grab one of those and chop that up. So I have my bread, I have my cabbages, I have my beef patties. Now I need a stack of onions and a stack of tomatoes. Stack of tomatoes and a stack of onions. So it literally is just wait for these to cook, which might take a while. So while that cooks, we can make something else. Now a really handy thing to have are these apple ciders because they give you absorption similar to the way a golden apple does. So all I need for this is two apples and some sugar. What I'm going to do is pop down here, grab some sugar cane, and make some sugar. And then I'll pop two sets of apples and five sugar in here. Now I just need some bottles. Now if I pop this in here, I'll make little apple ciders. There we go. Five little apple ciders. So now if I drink one of these, I would get absorption. But I'm not going to waste it right now. So seeing as my pie is half eaten and I'm missing something here, let's make something fun. And I think I want to make a honey glazed ham. So I need smoked ham, some berries, some rice, and a bottle of honey. So I have a ham here, which is already cooked. And then I'm also going to grab myself a honey bottle, four berries, and then two bowls of rice. Because what I can do here is pop them in there, grab a few bowls and pop those in. Now to cooked rice. So to make that, I'm going to need to make a smoker, which if I come over here, I don't have a furnace, actually. I thought I did. Grab some cobble and four logs. Make ourselves a little furnace and then a little smoker, which I'll pop here. And then we can pop our ham in along with a bit of coal. Now we have a smoked ham. I can combine everything to make a honey glazed ham. And then I can pop it there. So it looks super cute. I actually kind of want to spin it. Like that, so you can see the little bone sticking out. 
Okay, so if I did need to grab food, I can. I just want that more as a decoration. So while I'm waiting for the burgers to cook, what I'm going to do is pop over here and grab myself a stack of cabbages and a stack of carrots. And I can pop those in there to make more cabbage rolls. But I now have all of my beef patties, which means I can assemble a stack of hamburgers. And hamburgers are pretty good. So those can sit in my inventory just there for when I'm done the cabbage rolls. Now I don't want to have to be doing this every time I need food, so we're actually going to spend a lot of time making a bunch of other foods as well, just making a mix, a medley of things that I have, so that I have options down the line. I'm going to cook up some mutton chops and grab my other cooked ones. I'm also going to grab my raw mutton and chop this up, add those to the pan. I'm also going to head out into the garden and grab myself some tomatoes, because that is what I'm needing next. And for this one, I'm also going to grab some sticks. Now what I'm going to do is make myself some barbecue on a stick. So I have this as well. And then up in this cupboard, I'm going to start putting some extra foods that I can obviously pop to and grab when I need them. I also want to make some of these mixed salads as they give me regen, which can also be very good for adventuring scenarios. Again, pop out. I'll grab myself a stack of cabbages. Chop these up. I also, for this one, need a bunch of beets and also a bunch of tomatoes. So we will grab ourselves some beets. And I also need to make myself a ton of bowls. Now, I'll make myself some mixed salads. I'll pop them in here and I'll keep six on me. We do have this lunch pack which can only hold food, but since it's a mod that makes the food, it doesn't register them as actual food, so I can't put it in there. And the last thing I want to make, just because it seems a little bit different, is some pumpkin soup, which means I need some bacon, some cabbages and some pumpkin. So we do our usual, chop up some pumpkin, chop up some bacon, and then we pop some pumpkin in, some bacon in, some cabbages in. Now I need milk. And to make this slightly quicker, I'm just gonna grab some more glass bottles and then we can head down to our cows, which I can just bucket to make some glasses of milk. And then in here, we pop that. And I also now just need my bowls, which I can just pop there. This will also give me the glass bottles back so I can pop down and get more milk and just kind of keep going up and down. As you can see, I'm already really hungry and I actually want to show you how much the hamburger gets. So I've only got three. Now I'm basically full. Hamburgers were definitely the way to do this. And there we go. I have a bunch of pumpkin soup. So I'm going to pop my spare bottles up there, pop my extra food back in. And I'll pop the pumpkin soup away for now. I don't need it. It adds level 5 comfort. Which I'm going to be real with you. I don't really know what comfort does. I just know it's good. Let me have a look. When consuming meals considered soups or stews, players will be given the comfort effect for a varying amount of time. Comfort makes players immune to cold, in bracket slowness, and sickness, hunger and weakness. When first applied, the effects are immediately removed from the player and cannot be reapplied by any means until the comfort wears off. So basically, if I have it, I can't get slowness, hunger, or weakness, which is great. The other thing it adds is I'm pretty sure if I was to take a plate from this honey roast ham over here, I would get nourishment. And what nourishment does is it basically means that I can't lose hunger or saturation through exhausting actions, such as running, jumping, and attacking mobs. It basically means that my hunger bar stays full unless it's used to regen my health. So if I'm ever going on long adventures or traveling somewhere, taking that so that I can teleport as much as I want without getting hunger would be a good option. Okay, so now that I've made a bunch of food, it's time I commit modded SMP sin number one. I'm gonna break my waystone. Hey, you like, Scott, why are you breaking your waystone? And basically, I have a cute build I want to put here and I want to have this in a nice spot. And yes, I probably should have done this like first. That means when I break it, anyone who already has my waypoint won't. So I need to you know, pick it up and everyone will need to come back for it. But it'll be worth it, I promise, because this little thing is going to get a really cool new belt. Let's go to the time lapse. And done. After the time lapse, I did a little bit more beautification where I did some flowers, some like little hanging fairy lights. I put some lanterns in the floor, obviously matching my skin. And now we can pop our waystone in and let's turn it on. So there we go. I've added it back in. 
I've named it Ace Major. Hopefully, people won't mind having to come back to get it again because now it has a pretty little home. So, I did a thing. Let me show you. If we jump inside and I grab, I don't know, like some cobblestone, maybe some beef and some cactus, and we head over here to my processor. I have this set up and it will do a bunch of things. So if I come over here and I pop my beef into here, you will see it puts the beef onto this conveyor belt. And what the fans are doing are blowing the smoke onto it and it's smoking it. So it turns it into cooked beef, which I can just come in here and grab from here. Same as on this side, if I pop in some cobblestone, you will see it pulls it along the conveyor belt and it's blowing the lava heat onto it, which as you can imagine, smelts it and turns it into stone. And this will also work for things like cactus, where it will pop on there and turn it into dye. And I can also use ores and things. So if I get some iron or such, put it in there, it pops out the other side. And it's all resource free. So I don't need to like do anything anymore. I'm no longer needing to use coal or lava or things. It just does it. The only downside is that I don't get the experience from it. But when we can always just pop to gems XP farm, there's no need. I, I don't. I don't need the XP elsewhere. Eventually I'll set up my own farm as well, but for now we can just use gems. So this is what I was working on. Over on my Twitch, which is twitch.tv slash smajor, I stream New Life every so often over there. So make sure you're following so you do not miss when I'm live, so you get the entire New Life experience. But what I want to do now is beautify this. I basically made it on a stream so that it works, but as you can see, it's not particularly the cutest thing. So I want to sort of grab some more blocks and maybe put on like a little roof and just tie it all into the area a bit better. I was going to fully cover up the machinery at the back, but I kind of like the idea of being able to see the water wheels. So I'm going to go grab some things and we're going to just play around. And I don't actually have a plan for this. A lot of the time when I do builds, I will pre-build them in a creative single player world and then I'm just copying it over into the server. But sometimes I like to just wing it and see what I come up with. And that's what we're going to do today. Let's grab a bunch of of wood and I'll grab a bunch of limestone as well because I enjoy playing with that. Same with some calcite. I'll grab my stone cutter and now we need to get to work. Now I think what I want to do is encase the front of this with some stripped wood. Sort of like putting it on a display case and I also want to use a bunch of cobblestone which I'm wondering if I can just be a little sneaky about. If I head to whips area this man has done a lot of crate stuff. And one of the crate things I know he's done is somewhere around here, there's a drill. It just goes down, just down. Okay, I found Whip's basement and I'm hearing some blocks being, he has like a cobblestone generator. I think if I just maybe took a little bit of these, he's not gonna know. How would he know? He's not gonna know, how would he know? And now we just come back down here and we're home. And Fwip never needs to know that happened. Perfect. And I have some more cobblestone bricks because I want to play with these in the building process. I'm thinking if we do something like this where we use the cobblestone on the bottom and then some limestone, it kind of works as like a trim piece. This is just one of those builds that's going to have to be quite symmetrical. It's going to require a lot of me running back and forth and checking that I'm doing it correctly. Okay, there we go. So this is what currently goes around the outside. It obviously shows off the water wheel sort of mechanics from behind, but it covers up a bunch of the belt stuff which I wanted. I'm going to go away and play with some sort of roofing style stuff, I think, and then I'll come back when I have a little bit better of an idea. Okay, so this is what I have so far. I've basically brought the back wall up and I might put something here. I might put little shelves in or something. I've done sort of like this design along the support pillars. And then if we have a look from the sides, we have this. So I've got the water wheel and I've sort of done like a tiered roof. So the lower level is done here and then it goes up a little bit inside and then I'm doing the roof up here as well. So that is currently what I'm working on. Right now I'm basically trying to replicate this section on the other two. And then I need to basically replicate just this upper roof on this side because this side also doesn't have the farm or anything. It doesn't come out as far. So I need to kind of just imagine where this roof would be rather than having it up against a wall. As you can see, I've done this sort of arched roof and on this side, you come through the little tunnel and you're now inside like this. 
What I want to do is do something similar to what I've done here with like the fancy pattern. But I want to do it up here where the wood connects to the roof block. Just to have something going along there. The idea is that I want to kind of keep this open because of all the heat and things that are produced from this. I want it to still have a place to flow, which is why I've decided to keep the roof open at the top there like a gazebo. And there we go. This is what we have. I decided to do calcite as the kind of lattice work up there. And then in the inside, I did some deep slate tiles on the floor. And this is what we're working with. I ended up removing the spruce one I had and moved it up a level to attach it into that to kind of give it support beams. But this is what we're working with. I need to just go and get a few little decor pieces like lanterns and lights and things to put around here. But I wanted to give a little show of what I was doing. I'm so glad I did not try and time lapse this because my god did I just keep changing everything. The shapes, the blocks, the placing, everything was just one into another. So what I'm going to go and do now is add a little bit of limestone texturing and also putting in some lanterns and chains and things just to help add some life in there. And then I'll come back to you when it's done. Okay. just gave me bricks and I gave him the ability to create infinite limestone. Okay, okay, okay. You limestone? <gasps> I d look behind you. I just, I just built that. No. You need limestone. I do need limestone. You need honey. I do need honey. What do you got to trade? Um, your best your best trade, teleporty man. Do you want food? Sure. Sixteen pumpkin soup. Ooh. It gives comfort. Yeah, okay. Yay! What does it do? Wow! So you just oh it's liquid. Be careful <gasps> with it. It's fresh from the hive. The swarm just created it. You put it you know how to make a cobblestone generator? Yeah. You do that, but that's the water, and then you need lava. Oh, and it just makes limestone? Yeah. That's so cool. Oh my goodness, okay, okay, yep. okay. I will. I've still to make an auto farm thing for that, but... It's super easy. Okay, thank you. Yeah, look, I did a bunch of lattice work for the, the foundry bit. I love it. I wanted to make something where it's like, because obviously there's heat in that still coming out, so it's like it would uh -huh. let the heat funnel out, and then obviously I kept the water wheels like on display. Mm -hmm. um, I like that. It's a very cute little pattern. Thank you. There's now a door. I just need, and there's flooring. I just need to go and put some lanterns and fun things My in here. My goodness, so fancy. I try, I try. Well, thank you so much for the honey. I <laughs> always keep having to run away and mine more limestone, so now I don't. This is great. Yeah, now you can make a generator. Yay! Yay. Thank you, Jim. Now I can actually get to doing the texturing. Inside, we have a few little lanterns dotted about. And then I also went round on the outside and changed the bottom to be the cobble stuff. And then I also put two little paper lanterns on the outside of each of the water wheels. Just so it adds some light to the outside at night as well and helps it look really cute. All in all, this is a really cute build. I probably over time will maybe sink this floor down one and just add some chests and barrels and such. But for now, it looks great. Look at me go!